In this video, I'm going to show you how to propagate uncertainty with powers and roots. This is the rule that we use. When you raise a number with uncertainty to a power, and remember that a root is just a fractional power, the uncertainty of the result equals the absolute value of the product of the power and the original fractional uncertainty. So that was a lot of words, but I think you'll find that once you actually apply the rule, it's pretty simple. I'll start with power examples and then go to root examples. The first problem says we have five plus or minus two kilograms squared. And the rule is telling me that I need to do something with the fractional uncertainty. So before I solve this problem, I have to convert that number to a fractional uncertainty. And the way that I do that is dividing the absolute uncertainty by the original number. If you don't remember how to do that, I have a video in the description explaining how. So my rule is saying that the uncertainty of the result of raising this number to this power is going to be equal to the power multiplied by the fractional uncertainty. So that means the uncertainty will be two because that's the power multiplied by the fractional uncertainty of 0 0.4. And for your original number, you just apply the square to it. So when I multiply that out, I get 25 kilograms squared plus or minus 0 0.8 because 0 0.8 is two times 0 0.4. And again, that 0 0.8 is also a fractional uncertainty. So if you wanted to convert back to absolute uncertainty, you could just multiply that 0 0.8 times 25 and you would have a new absolute uncertainty. That represents the same thing as the fractional uncertainty. Problem number two says 2.5 plus or minus 0 0.5 meters raised to the fourth. Again, that's an absolute uncertainty and I need to convert it to fractional uncertainty. So I'll divide the uncertainty by the original number. So that's my fractional uncertainty. And the rule says that my new uncertainty will be the power multiplied by the fractional uncertainty. So I'm multiplying that fractional uncertainty by four. And this is the answer that I get. Number three has a percent uncertainty. And because percent uncertainties behave similarly to fractional uncertainties, like 10% is just 0.1 as a fractional uncertainty, I can actually just follow that same rule and multiply the power by the percent uncertainty. And that will get me the correct answer. So 20 raised to the third is 8,000, and that'll be plus or minus 30%. In problem four, we're raising 12 plus or minus 0.15 to the power of seven. This is already expressed in fractional uncertainty, so I just need to multiply the power by that fraction. And when I do, this is the uncertainty that I get and the number that I get. Going on to the root examples, I'll just have you look up at the top right and remember that x under a certain root is equal to x raised to the power of one over that root. So in the first problem, that square root or second root is the same as that number being raised to the power of one half. So I can now just apply my normal power rule to this problem. The power rule says that I need that uncertainty as a fractional uncertainty. So when I plug that in, this is the fractional uncertainty that I get. And then I multiply that by the power. And this is the result that I get for my uncertainty and for the original number. That's the same as 12 plus or minus two raised to the power of one fourth. So we need to convert that to a fractional uncertainty to follow the power rule. And when I do that, this is what I get. So I multiply the uncertainty by one fourth. I raise 12 to the power of one fourth. And this is the answer that I get. In number three, we have this number under the fifth root. So that's equal to that number raised to the power of one fifth. And because percentages behave so much like fractional uncertainties, I can actually just multiply that percentage by one fifth to get my answer of 2%. In number four, this is equivalent to 250 plus or minus 0.1 raised to the power of one seventh. So when I multiply that out, this is what I get. And this is my answer for number four. So that's how you propagate uncertainty when you have a power or a root.